Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Vol Matrix FFA Boss. Bring you some more commentary. Playing that Black Ops 2, that BO2. Playing on the map standoff, some SD. Now, this is some lead play for you guys. I'm playing with uh, two other guys and some random guy. And uh, you might be asking, like, who in the hell are you? I ain't heard you talking like, I don't know, three, four months. I'm sorry about that. I just haven't, uh, haven't felt like doing a commentary. And this is a 1v4 clutch. Okay, I, I go 1v4. Now, I get all four kills. That's an ace, and um, I am playing league play. I'm sorry about using the uh, the MMS scanner. It's a little cheap, but it is it is uh, very tactical and it's very uh, it's got a lot of strategy involved into it. So that's kind of why I like to use it. Um, I have a lot of classes for this, but anyway, um, like I said before, I haven't done a commentary. And why look at I get this guy through the wall, or I don't get him through the wall, but I see him through. And this is the beauty uh, of that um, reticle or whatever or attachment. But I just wanted to bring you this commentary because I go like 18 and 5 on a, on a league play, search and destroy. That's pretty good. There's only four people on the team, so for me to get 18 kills uh, is just about incredible, to be honest with you. Now, I'm not saying these guys are beasts or anything, but this is league play where good players and stuff. And uh, I am masters in league play, for those who are wondering. Um, now the only thing I don't like about league play is your public stats get kind of... You won't have like you can't keep your same stats in public as you do in league play. Obviously, you don't play league play for stats. You play it for competitive. You play it, you know, to have fun with your team and whatever, and just get jump shotted. But, <laughs> but I wish they had separate stats. So like when I played, um, oh, and I'm loving the ghost camera by the way. Get the ghost camera, it's sick. I'll get to that in a minute. But I wish they had separate stats for league play and public matches. So, like, when I went to league play, my public stats didn't get affected. And when I went to public matches, my league play stats didn't get affected. I, I know this is new and they're still working out the kinks, but I really wish they did fix that. And um, I do make a little mistakes um, when I first start. And you'll notice I get kind of mad. And, like, we start losing. And we come back. It's and we, we do start losing pretty bad here. But I'm like, come on, guys. We got to... We gotta, uh, we gotta step it up. So I bring out Big Bertha, which is basically a light machine gun. It's an LSAT with a with a um, thermal and like full metal jacket and all that good stuff. So it's it's a machine. It just tears through the walls and just crushes people. Uh, I don't like using this class, but it but it is very effective. Like you can throw a smoke down and see through the thermal and just really crush people. So, but. Uh, I'm not too great at s and I know how to play it. I know the spots. I know where I need to go. I know how to play, you know, a 2v4 or whatever, 1v4. Um, I just don't play it enough to really, um, to learn enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, if I played it more, I could probably, I'd be, be much better at it. And here is where uh, we failed. I asked my teammate to watch that, and he did watch it, but he kind of failed on me, and I, he died, and I couldn't challenge. And what basically I couldn't challenge means I was red, I was hurt, I was in no position to fight that guy, and we just get pinched. And what pinch means is where one enemy comes from your front, and another one comes from your back, and you're just you're stuck in the middle, and they get pinch you. It's a very good tactic. Uh, I've used it. I've, I'm not have a lot of tactics. I'm not really going to you know go through them all because there's too many. I'm not even. Bleh. But uh. I did fast forward through some of this, like when I die, because I know you guys don't want to watch my other teammates, because they suck. When they don't suck, they're my friends, but they were, they were off today. The, they're usually the guys that carry me. I'm not an S and D guy, but I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna carry you guys. Let's roll. Uh, and also for those who are wondering, you know, am I still gonna put up more videos? Am I still doing this thing? Yeah, I'm still doing YouTube. I just, I've slowed down mainly because theater mode sucks in this game, and I can't really. Uh, like, like, say I want to get 150 kills. I have to record all my Ground War games before I even get 100 kills. So when I do get the 100 kills, I have it. And here's where Black Ops 2 sucks. Look at that. I knifed the guy. Well, on my screen I knifed him, but obviously I didn't. But anyway. Uh, and I did see I made a mistake there. I shouldn't have pushed up because I had nobody watching um, the A-bomb site. And, you know, I just make mistakes. But... Here's where I get really serious. I take out well the other gun's serious too, but here's where I get like fuck it. That's not working. Let me pull out an M8 and I do work. Uh you'll see me do work here. I get kinda lucky the sniper does not get me, but you know, it's all about that luck. And I'm using a red dot with full metal jacket and uh stock. Now you might say, Well, why are you using full metal jacket? Because a lot of people 
like to head glitch, and that head glitch meaning they're behind cover a lot, so that Full Metal Jacket's going to help me here. And uh, like I said, I'm loving the ghost camo. I pre you are to get the ghost camo. All you gotta do is pre-order the next Call of Duty, which is Mono or Call of Duty Ghost, which comes out on the 360, PS3, PC, plus the Xbox 720 and the PS4. So uh, I did order mine for the 360, but they said I could change that for the new one when it comes out. Uh, so that's that's what's up. I don't know why I didn't have it on this gun. I was like, what the hell, Bobby? What the hell, Bobby? You put a straight pipe on my damn brickle. <laughs> uh, but I noticed I was kind of close to my kill streak, so I was kind of playing defensively. So you you really want to get kill streaks in S and D. Now what I should have done is switch my sentry gun for an RC car. So yeah, and here's why I get uh, I get crushed. I didn't think he saw me, and but he did, and I get screwed over. My but my teammate does a nice little one v two clutch for me, clutch, and you know it's. It's just whatever, but like I said, I'm loving the ghost camo. Uh, I hope they do more of these. I really love, I, I love the whole, like you just buy it. You don't have to do all that extra crap because I'm not a guy that likes to do all that camo crap, you know, when you take your attachments off. I just want to get my stuff and go. So, uh, and I think I clutched this. Yeah, I do clutch this. This is a super clutch. Uh, and I didn't see that guy. Uh, you probably saw that guy, but I didn't see him. But I just went on clutch, man. I was just clutching it like... And I'm surprised I clutched it this many times because I'm not a, at least I'm not an SD player. I'm a CTF and hardpoint. And for those who are wondering what league play, basically it's a 4v4. Uh, I do the championship series, which is 4v4. Uh, and it's it, it consists of hardpoint, CTF, and search and destroy. And you're basically playing against the best players. Basically, not saying they are, not all of them. These guys were good, but they weren't like. Um, they're on the same level as me or my friends. Not saying that we're better than everybody. I'm just saying they weren't at the same level. And and I get really lucky here. This guy does I E bullets, which meaning he just couldn't even touch me. I was just eating there. And I get lucky here. I don't get lucky, but like if you don't know where they're at, always look for the spots that are super obvious. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the that spot he was at where the boxes were, that's super obvious because he was already in the middle, so you know, really where's he gonna go? I mean he could have went he could have went back, but he he would have left him side wide open, so I kind of got lucky there. It was a 50-50, but, you know, a lot, Call of Duty has a lot of luck in it. That in connection. Skill comes in later on, <laughs> which should be the opposite. But, anyway, this is a long commentary. I haven't done in a, one in a while, so if I kind of suck at doing this whole talking to you guys, it's because I haven't done one in so long. Like, last one I done was probably, like, uh, two months ago, maybe? Maybe longer. But I'm still doing the whole YouTube thing. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna put up even more videos when, um, you know, maybe GTA comes out, GTA 5, or the new Call of Duty. But anyway, this has been your boy Volmatrix FFA Boss. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Hopefully, you you stayed with me the whole way, and uh, you know, watch this beast and search and store and league play. But anyway, this has been your boy, and I'll catch you guys later. So, uh, peace soup. Pushing your local friendly lightning strike inbound. Two KIA. Hellstorm missile inbound.